Hello, Asgardians. Igor Ashurbeli, the founding father of Asgardia, welcomes you to his office in Moscow. This is exactly where the idea of creating the first space state in the human history came to live. And since today is exactly three months since we announced the start of Asgardia's foundation politically, it is also today that I name October 12, 2016, to be the day number one of the new Asgardian calendar. In only 40 hours, more than 100,000 applications to Asgardia have been submitted, and then, in two months, the number skyrocketed to over half a million. On December 12th, I asked you to start verifying your data. And in only two weeks, more than 100,000 of you, Asgardians, have confirmed your personal data and authorized me to represent Asgardia in the earthly world as the head of the nation. I personally thank each and every one of you for the trust you placed in me. Today, Asgardia is home for citizens from more than 200 countries. This is the whole globe where different nations adhere to different calendars. We cannot give preference to any of those, since our space nation has to rise above the commotion of the earthly life, above its borders and earthly religions. Asgardians speak more than 100 languages of the world. English was the most popular choice among those. It is spoken by over 48 percent of Asgardians. I am addressing you today in my native language, in Russian, which ranks eighth on the hierarchy of Asgardian languages. It was strange for me to be called the father of the nation, but when it became known that 70 percent of Asgardians are the young people aged between 18 and 35 years old, I realized that our main task is indeed to protect planet Earth, to preserve our common home for generations to come. At this round table, which symbolizes Asgardia's principles of freedom and equality, the country's current affairs and its future development are discussed. In 2017, in the first Asgardian year, we have a lot to accomplish. We need to endorse the Declaration of Unity, approve the Constitution, elect the governing bodies, define their locations on the earthly continents, select the flag, the National Anthem, the Insignia, and many other things. We are also working on the first Asgardia satellite launch. In the background, you can see the clock, which symbolizes the transience of earthly life. And in the middle of the table, there is an ancient shellfish, which dates back millions of years. This is the evolutionary path of a human being. And yet, in any era, the best of people looked at the stars with hope, and dreamed of a happy new world, and a new country in the sky. Even though we, as guardians, may not be the best of all people, but for sure, we are the people of the future. And our motto, which I hope you will accept and endorse today, is one humanity, one unity. I embrace you and every one of you.